uh, I'm going to use as always Android device because it's easier to record and uh, it, I'll show you that it's really platform independent so first I'm going to use a folder where I have my binaries and scripts so in in uh, in this folder in in bin I can put any script and it will be executable from any folder where, where I am so it's it's the perfect place to put your scripts and here I'm putting my scripts which executes PHP uh, server in the folder which I need to use so this, this is going to be the folder where uh, the editable folder for all the applications because I'm going to use external uh, file manager and text editor so uh, the server will uh, be on the local host and the folder will be on the SD card so first when you install Symfony it's going to be installed on the Tmux uh, home directory and this directory is only uh, accessible by Termux itself the app so other apps like uh, Total Commander don't have access to uh, this folder that's why I had to copy all the files uh, to the SD card so now I have my Symfony copy on the SD card and uh, this is the script which is going to execute the server uh, now I need to give permissions to the, this script to be executed because this is still a Linux machine and on this machine you need uh, permissions for every executable file that's what saves us from viruses I guess so Symfony is running now, actually PHP with the Symfony home directory. Uh, now we go to localhost. So first I need to create a controller and I select the text of the dummy controller they have there. It's a lucky number. So I'm going to use it uh, not to have to write everything myself. I'll just make corrections which I need for my own controller. So I create the new file which is going to be controller and I uh, paste uh, the text which I took from, from the Symfony page. Yeah, that's the problem uh, when you copy in Android sometimes the the markup is not stored so you don't you have to because you took it from HTML and the, all the line breaks are lost that's why hey, I have to edit everything myself it's still better than writing everything from scratch So we have namespace app controller. This is the standard namespace for all the controllers. You can have many of them in, in the folder controller and all of them will be supported. So they, they will be listened by Symfony framework. So if you put many controllers, they all should work if they don't contradict one another. I didn't try to, so I don't know what happens if you have the same methods in two different controllers with the same routing. I guess one of them will be used and another one uh, will be ignored. But I already tried to have different uh, two controllers in that folder with a whole bunch of methods and it works pretty well. So I guess you can have as many controls as you as you want. If you, I'm wrong with this, please correct. So I, I'm not really well. Everybody is new to Symfony 4 because it's only showed up two months ago. Nobody, I guess, can say that he has great experience with Symfony 4 unless he's a developer of the framework. So, instead of lucky controller, I made just controller class, the same like a file name. And now I'm going to edit the method. The, instead of method number, I'm going to put something more suitable for me. Uh, how are we going to use the routing? Uh, there are uh, Symfony supports uh, several routing methods. Um, the most popular is annotation method, 
it's just like a comments uh, which are used uh, for routing. Uh, the second method is YAML and then I copy this uh, so I, I'm gonna have second method which is gonna be index so I want two, two methods in this. So yeah, uh, there are two ways to uh, uh, the most popular ways is YAML and annotations. You can have also a XML option to use this uh, for routing in the symphony, and uh, there is also a possibility to use plain PHP for that purpose. So I guess my majority of uh, symphony users or developers use annotations. But first, uh, let us see how it works with YAML. It's, it's not complicated either. Uh, then on the second video, I'm going to use annotations just, just to have both topics covered. So what I'm inserting in this is a, a IP address of the client. So if you visit this page, you should see your own IP address. Uh, in this case, it's going to be localhost, of course. But if it would be visited from external location, it's going to be uh, IP address of the machine uh, in the network uh, with with which you you connect, with which you visit the page. So uh, yeah, I put the text. Uh, the the, se the second method is index one is root, and now it's time to make annotations in yaml file so i go to config there is a file roots yaml which is annotation file and i already wrote some code before into this to try it didn't work before so because i didn't have a controller class now i have a controller class and there are two methods inside uh, index and root which should be working now uh, this file should be working fine. This is the file which is which is correct, but uh, because uh, all those uh, things are copied to SD card, and Symfony when it is executed, it changes something in the code, so it, it will distinguish if the uh, the Symfony is a dummy, just copied from from the server, or is it already modified? Uh, there is a there are variables in index uh, PHP file in the public directory and uh, you can use a whole bunch of plugins and I don't even need them because I prefer uh, edit everything and I write bunch of scripts to for shortcuts so I don't really have to bother with all that kind of things and some people find it out fashioned that uh, old-fashioned they say uh, why not use a modern IDE uh, which I do sometimes but for in, in this case I don't need it so I can make these kind of short shortcuts so similar links to any files which I frequently edit and uh, for other files I can access with VFM file manager which will run in, in command line so I, I don't really need uh, any external application for this but I'm sure you can find if you are not a big fan of command line uh, a, a pretty decent application to edit uh, to, to like integrate the development environment for editing your files for Android V text editor and I CNT is a controller So I have simple link which points to controller file in the controller folder. So this file I, I'm going to edit now. I'm going to put uh, date string into this and see. Uh, by the way, there is an issue with the uh, um, caching. If you use web browser for testing your uh, local web browser for testing your app. Uh, your your website uh, and it, it caches something and then you make a change you don't see it right away because the browser uses the older version which is it stores locally and this is an issue when you develop something because you need to see the difference right away you don't want anything to be cached 
for to do that you use uh, for example in Chrome you go to settings you go to uh, and you uh, select there not to store anything locally so there, there is an option in the Chrome browser which allows you to turn off local storage uh, to speed up uh, or save traffic in, in this case uh, you can have every page uh, loaded from the server not from the local cache and that allows you to see the difference right away that's exactly what you need as a developer I don't know what uh, other Android browsers how they are configured so so that, that's why I use Chrome because I find it very similar to Chrome of the uh, PC Linux version so I execute server again and now I should change I should see the change once I refresh the page